The acne that we have going on my face right now is just not okay and in desperate need of a self-care day. Literally, I don't even know what's been going on, but I've just been stressed out. You can definitely tell by my face. I literally just got this lip pimple tonight. I had another lip pimple like a couple days ago. I had a fever blister. I have just, it's going on. It's going on. And I lost a nail and this nail. Y'all see this? So, it is just, I'm a hot mess. <coughs> Excuse me. It is just, I am a hot mess right now and I really need a self-care day. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. So it's currently 11.38 in the morning. This morning I woke up. I was supposed to woke up, wake up. I was supposed to, oh shit. I was supposed to wake up at 8.30 or 9 o'clock and my alarm went off and I was like, nope, I'm tired. I don't want to do this. So basically I just kind of slept until like 10.30 and then I got up and I got in a shower. I shaved my legs. I did all that. Cleaned my hair. I lost a lot of hair in the shower today, which like I lost a lot of hair today in the shower. Like combined with the shower and then when I got out, when I brushed my hair, I lost so much hair very concerning but i did hear something say that some girl was talking about how she struggled with hair loss as well when she stopped taking her birth control and that is about whenever i started to like realize that i was losing hair it was after i stopped taking birth control i used to lose hair but it was never like this like it literally just comes out in like copious copious amount but anyways i decided this morning i mean like last night i was thinking about oh i want to go to the nail salon tomorrow this morning i decided i was going to get up i showered shaved my legs did all of that and i called the nail salon that i wanted to go to because last night i was like looking because we moved to Dallas, so the nail salons that I usually would have gone to are a little bit further from me now. I called them. I made an appointment for 12. It's 11.40 right now. I'm probably going to go in here in a little bit. But yeah, I'm really nervous because it seems like a super, like, little bougie nail salon. I'm just in a little set. My set is from... Honestly, I have no idea, but I got this little, like, purple marble set on. It literally is dirty. And then my shoes are from Etsy. I had to wear, like, sandals because I'm getting my toes done and stuff. So, these are the sandals that I wore. They just say my initials on them, and they're from Etsy. And then this jacket is from Princess Polly. You guys always ask me. It's literally the best. I don't remember what it's called, but it's so good. But, yeah, so we're going to be just having a little self-care moment. <sighs> I just know for me personally, this might, this might be a little bit of a long intro. I'm so sorry, but I just feel like talking. You know, that's part of self-care, you know, getting out how you feel. I don't know, recently just, it's been a lot. Um, I think the change of moving and stuff is hitting me now. I'm very happy where I, I'm very, very happy. Let me just make that very clear. Like, I'm happy with the apartment, everything like that. But I think overall, it's just like a big change. Those emotions hadn't really hit me yet. But I feel like as of recently, they've really been setting in and me realizing, you know, like my life is changing, you know, like things aren't the same. I was kind of like living in this like world of... Oh, well, I like I live on my own, but nothing's gonna change like everything's still gonna be the same Like it's just I'm moving. That's all it is and that's not the case like relationships are gonna change your bonds with certain people are gonna change and Just like life is genuinely not gonna be the same and you can't have that expectation that is going to be the same Because that's what I did and now I'm like reaping the repercussions of it I don't know I've just been struggling a lot emotionally lately and you can definitely tell on my face It's been surreal because it's been like a good struggle, but also just like a sad struggle, but it's like I know once I get over this little hump of like how I feel it'll be great and I'll just be able to you know like thrive and move on it's just kind of hard letting go of your past life and for me personally I've been really disconnected with the fact that I'm not a child anymore like I still feel like a kid like I still feel like I'm a little teenager who lives in my parents house I don't feel like an adult with responsibilities I don't know it's just like adult life for me hasn't felt like adult life it just feels like I'm a big kid I'm just like a teenager who has to pay bills. That's all I feel like. I don't know. It's just been very weird for me. Um, and yeah, it's definitely going to be okay. But I just wish I could like hug my inner child. When I think about my past life and like things that I would go through and stuff. It's like I was always like belittled. Not belittled, but like anything I would go through, it wasn't a big deal to anyone but me. And so sometimes I question if it even really was that big of a deal or if I just made it a big deal. And I struggle with that because I struggle with validating my own past. Like I really do struggle with validating the things that I went through in high school and stuff. And I feel like I almost block out a lot of the stuff that happened to me in high school school or just that I experienced in high school or just the experience in my childhood in general and yeah I really just want to heal that like uh, 
oh my god i don't know i'm just so emotional recently like i kid you not i could literally talk about a dog and i'll start crying like i don't know yeah i just really really want to heal my inner child because i feel like she's really broken and it is still what's keeping me back i feel like if i don't heal her like, i'm never gonna fully be able to grow i'm just gonna always have these past traumas that just affect me i really want to heal her also i really want to work on like my anxiety and taking control in situations and speaking my mind and things because i do have a really big fear of like upsetting people and i don't want anybody to just hate me so i'll like overly try to be nice or i'll overly try to go out of my way just so that i like don't give people a reason to not like me and that's not okay if people are gonna like you people are gonna like you you don't have to break your back to make people like you or to let things be okay when they're not okay or not speak your mind in such certain situations just because you don't want to upset someone you're basically not showing yourself love by doing that because you're just letting like everybody kind of walk all over you and you're not ever speaking your mind you're just kind of going with the flow so i really want to work on that as well yeah i just wanted this video to just be kind of like an overall self-care we're just going to talk about things i'm going to talk about how i've been feeling recently yeah just kind of give you guys a little bit of inside scoop but also taking care of myself we're gonna go get our nails done right now our toes done as well get a little pedicure figure it out as we go i kind of just like spontaneously decided i wanted to do this because i i definitely know i need it but anyways we're just gonna have this little self-care moment we're gonna fill our cups i want you guys to do this with me as well go get your nails done go get your toes done whatever you want to do if you want to go get your eyebrows waxed whatever whatever is your cup of tea go do it for yourself because i promise you you're not gonna be able to fill anyone else's cup if you can't fill your own so we're gonna be filling our cup today and i'm so excited to do that but yeah i'm about to go into the nail salon and we're gonna get our nails done Huh? Baby, I've been going nowhere lately It's time to start all over and go for it Cause they don't even, they don't even know me yet But that's something I don't regret Every night I close my eyes and see Only life into dreams, baby What can I do when I'm in? They taxed my ass, like, for real. So, I'm gonna show you guys what my nails look like. And then, I'm gonna read the receipt on, like, what the little charges that they charged me. Literally so cute. Like, they're exactly what I want. I love them. They're gorgeous. And my toes look really good as well. I just got plain white. So, yeah. I am so cold right now. <sighs> I'm so cold, but I love them. Anyways, y'all, they taxed me for some things. This is why I really don't like going to nail salons anymore. I would 100% rather just go to Casey, but she wasn't here this weekend, and I was very, very desperate, so... But I'm gonna read the charges. I got a classic pedicure, which was $30, and then I had gel on my, my toes, so they did $5 to remove that. Wait. Oh, 
okay, okay, okay. Never mind. Oh my god, y'all. I just almost had a bitch fit. The next girl, it was $45 just for the dipping set. She charged me $5 for this special shape. What the fuck is that? It's just almond. It's not anything special, but anyways. And then for my design, the white little stuff on it was $20. And then to remove the acrylic that I already had on my nails was $8. And then I tipped them $5. So it was a total of $123. It's a lot of money. I'm not very happy about it, but that's what you get when you go to the nail salon. Fine, whatever. We're spoiling ourselves today, right? We're Money doesn't matter. Where's an Ulta? I think I want to go shop at Ulta today. I just want to get some self-care products. I just want to get some stuff to like, you know, I want. I need to get pimple patches because my acne right now is hella, hella bad. So we're going to go ahead and head over to Ulta and we're going to go on a little shopping spree. It's now that is not the correct time. It's 3:43, and I just got back home, like I just said. But I'm gonna show you guys real quickly what all I got at Ulta, and then we're gonna clean up the apartment. It's super, super messy. I need to make the bed. I need to clean up the living room, the kitchen, and I also need to fold laundry. So I'm gonna do all of that while I fill up like the rest of this time because I have to leave here around 5:30 whenever he gets off of work. Because we're gonna go over to my family's house tonight and watch the fight with my dad. He like invited us over, and they like bought wings and they did like a whole bunch. So we're gonna go over there and hang out with them. But I'm gonna show you guys really quickly what I got. So the first thing that I got is the Tree Hut Tropic Glow Firming Sugar Scrub. I really, really like their sugar scrubs and I'm a little ASMR moment. Anyways, I really like their sugar scrubs and I wanted to get this one because it said it was firming and it just sounded cool. The next thing that I got are these Collagen Hydro Gel Under Eye Patches. It comes with five. I was gonna get these other ones that was only like the one, but it literally only came with one pair and it was $9 and these were $10 for five. So I got those. Duh. And then, oh, this is what I'm really excited about. I got the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I got it in a pretty dark color because I'm going to try to use this as cream bronzer. So yeah, I've seen a lot of girls use this one as like a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. That's what I got it because they were cheap. The next thing I got is this Eva NYC. I feel like something's leaking. So this is the Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. It's supposed to be a it strengthens, heat protector, and reduces fit can't speak frizz. I got this. I wanted to try it. My sister had some of their products and it looked really good. So I just really want to try them. And then I got this split in mender. So I'm super excited to see how this works. I also really want to take start taking my hair vitamins again. So I'm probably going to start doing that as well. Then I got these Truly pillow patches. I've really been wanting to try the Truly ones. This one comes with 36 and it was like $13. Then the next thing that I got, I'm really, really, really excited about. So this is the bio oil, skincare oil. This is supposed to help with like acne scars and stuff. And I've heard such good things about this helping with acne scars so i'm so so excited to use this anyways that's my little haul that's everything that i got now i'm about to clean the apartment and i'm going to go ahead and do like a little before and after of every little like area that i clean so you guys can still kind of see me cleaning but it's not like completely a cleaning video you know what i'm saying so yeah we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning because i need to get all of that done christian literally asked me he was like please just do the dishes and fold your laundry like that's all i want you to do today you don't have to do anything else but please just do that we're gonna just do everything just so we can go ahead and get it all done and look at the little flowers he got me off. He surprised me yesterday. He bought me these little flowers and they were in the cutest little bouquet. He went to a freaking flower place, which is so cute because usually people would just like buy flowers at like, you know, the grocery store, which is still really, really nice. But just the extra mile that he like went and got it like custom made was just super cute. And then he also got me this little thing. It's so cute. Anyways, okay, now we're going to clean up and we're going to have a clean house, which I feel like is part of self-care as well, just because, you know, you have to clean up your sanctuary, clean up where you're living, because if it's dirty, then obviously you're gonna feel some type of way especially if you're like always home or something or always in your room if your room is dirty that's a big sign of you not taking care of yourself so make sure you're cleaning up your room cleaning up your space that's taking care of yourself that's part of self-care so make sure you're doing it I kind of just completely forgot 
forgot about this video well not completely forgot about it but just like didn't finish it but we're gonna finish it now i think the day that i got my nails done i ended up doing something that night and then oh yeah i ended up going out pretty much after that i just didn't like know when to finish it we're gonna finish it now it's literally super early in the morning as you guys probably tell i just look fucking ugly y'all my skin is just on a whole other level right now I don't have a vanity or anything like that, so we're just going to do this video standing up. Honestly, I would a thousand percent rather be sitting down in a vanity. So I think I'm definitely going to have to look into getting one pronto. I didn't actually realize how much I was going to miss one. Like, I could really go without one, but I just like, it was like my, it actually made me cry. It was just like my area, you know, like I've filmed. Oh my god, why am I the most emotional person in the literal world of emotions? <sighs> y'all it's a blessing and a curse but like i was saying like it's just i have almost done like three years of youtube sitting in front of a vanity talking about my life and sharing my life and y'all this is why we need the self-care day obviously we haven't we haven't processed all the emotions so let's keep going also for this little video i'm going to try to link all the products that i use that's something that i've been trying to do recently under my videos is linking the products just so that we have like a direct link to everything that i'm using in the video or products that i mentioned in the video in case you want them or want to try them but we got the eye patches i also got the pimple patches we got the body scrub i don't remember what else i got but i know i got those two things so i'm gonna take my foreo cleanser just like this she's cute and i'm gonna use my cerave acne control cleanser also i definitely need a new camera i'm so fucking over this one it just gives me shit all the time and it's falling apart literally so i definitely need a new one okay firstly i'm gonna just wash my face just with my hand i don't know it's like i'm so happy being here like i love this little like life i have now however i just haven't fully detached from like the old one or like when i was going through that phase of my life like i was honestly so depressed which is really sad but i hate high school and it's kind of hard for me because i feel myself devaluing what i went through i guess is how you could say it bro how do y'all make your laundry fucking smell good because this shit like i don't know like we put hella fucking detergent and softener and shit and then we also put the like dryer sheets and these hoes still stink like what the fuck i just feel like sometimes i think back and i'm like is it really as like traumatic as i'm saying it is you know like i really question myself and i hate that i do that but i think it's just because honestly i I only remember things when people remind me of them or like hint towards something or like I remember something and then it triggers another memory to come up but honestly I feel like I just blacked out through high school I guess like I just don't really like vividly remember things because I want to do story times and that's when I start thinking about it the most like I really want to do story times there's stories that like I remember but then there's other stories that like I just I'm like sometimes I sit down and I think about it I'm like but what would I even tell you know like I don't remember stories to tell now I'm gonna put on my little eye patches you guys i really want to try asmr again what asmr video should i do i literally just did that one just to try it just to be fucking funny and people took it so serious but i want to do it again i do wear patches for about 30 minutes my mask is gonna dry way before that yeah okay so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just put on these little eye patches and then about 20 minutes in or so i'm gonna come back and do my face mask wake up in the morning brush my teeth before i see my queen Bitch, I'm too baby king. Oh, that's too fucking close. These are supposed to rejuvenate, revitalize, and increase skin elasticity. It has green tea, antioxidants, aloe vera, cucumber, and chamomile. Hopefully they work. They probably aren't gonna do anything. Okay, now we're gonna go just sit down and talk. We're gonna have a little chat. This is our self-care. We're gonna have like a little therapy sesh. I just feel myself kind of decrediting my experiences. And I don't know if anybody else can like relate on that, but I really need to stop doing that. It's like I almost like don't believe in myself, I guess. I'm making it seem like it was just like so traumatic. It really was just like a whole bunch of stuff that like I could have just went over my shoulder But for me it like just traumatized me But yeah recently I've just been feeling a lot of emotion And I've been very emotional but I think in a good way I've just started to really think about like high school and what I went through And how different of a spot in life I am now Also thinking about my YouTube videos and stuff And like just my journey on YouTube And I was watching some of my videos actually on Patreon If you guys don't have my Patreon the link is in my description box 
but me and Julia did a like down memory lane video well two videos it was part one and part two and the first one we were just kind of telling stories about just like memories that we have and then the second one was us actually watching my old videos and it made me really really emotional to watch them and like I break down in the video and everything and it's just like it made me really emotional because I looked so happy and I really enjoyed like you guys don't even understand that that was such an escape for me YouTube was literally everything and still is everything YouTube was my way to have like a creative outlet and talk to someone have a friend basically literally have a friend where I could tell anything to and that was my camera I mean as of recently I've been getting better on my editing and stuff and I've been trying to work harder and do better editing wise and stuff but for a while there like I wasn't editing how I want to and I wasn't making enjoyable content and I think my channel kind of suffered from it I kind of just went dull for a minute like I wasn't I was gaining subscribers but you know my videos and I'm kind of at that same spot right now like my videos are just kind of sitting at that 20 to 50 view count range um, I definitely want to start doing better on my videos and working more because that you can definitely see the change in my videos like when I was in high school I used to edit them and I used to have like fun content all the time like different content all the time just doing always fun things and now I've just kind of went to just doing like vlogs and boring videos like I'm gonna just put it how it is like some of you guys y'all say y'all enjoy them but I just feel like it's not my best work and like I can do better and I feel like I have been doing better like recently I've been posting a lot more videos that are more edited and more enjoyable to watch and hopefully that'll start to pay off in the future but I really just want to work extra hard because this is something that I genuinely love to do but yeah guys like I don't know it's just been like a road of emotions really I think I'm like kind of not detaching from my past growing and like turning to like a healthy chapter in my life which is weird like I'm finally at a good spot where I could just grow you know like I can literally just grow it's just like now it's really just the journey of growing you know if I don't start doing new things like I really want to open up a boutique I want to start putting my focus into that but I literally did like one day of research and I haven't done anything since but I have big plans for myself a lot of things that I want to accomplish what I was trying to say is like I'm not really growing in the, like the aspect of like my career and stuff but I am growing like in my life who I am as a person but anyways I'm gonna poop and then we're gonna do the face mask because I feel like I've been talking I have I've literally been talking for such a long time we're gonna use kinship mint mud minty mud mask my feet are oh they're so tingly we're gonna get the face wet a little bit wet a little bit oh my god there's my feet are fucking tingling up to my knees like i'm not even kidding it just keeps getting worse like it just progressively is like going up my feet i just want to start a fight i also really want to get a massage i really honestly should go get a fucking facial i really want to get one i just need to really sit on myself but you guys christmas is coming up and i'm about to be broke broke and then i'm going on a trip well two trips i'm going on a cruise in april with christian and my grandparent and then i'm going to cancun with my friend jasmine for her birthday y'all and then i gotta pay for my own fucking birthday i'm actually I'm gonna just spend literally all my fucking savings like so serious. Oh you guys I got a haul for you. That's what we could do. Well this little boutique I'm gonna start working with them. They sent me some clothes I'm gonna put my link down below where you guys can go shop from this company And then I'm also going to put my code down below as well So you guys can use that at checkout. So this is the first thing that I got. It's just this little top Well, it's like a bodysuit and then it's like kind of open It's probably gonna look way cuter on but I just haven't put it on yet. So this is all you get. I got some jeans these are the dad jeans super high-rise dad jeans i got them in a size five and then everything else i just got in a small and then the next thing that i got is this little set this is the stacy knit two-piece set if you literally just go to their sets on their website you'll be able to see it but it just looks like this it's a green top the pants are just green and they're like they're literally like the perfect length like they fit me perfectly i'm 5'1 and the last thing i got was a dress this is the glana crisscross mid dress it just looks like this and it like crosses in the front and then it's like long and then it splits on the sides i just think it's gonna be super super cute if i got like a little crop jean jacket so that's everything that i got from lovely and blush but anyways enough ranting i'm about to clean as you can see it's just messy and needs to be cleaned we're done soaking now, so we're gonna take it off. Honestly, I really debated not even like filming this part because I'm just taking my mask off. So I'm gonna use this little washcloth. I'm gonna just get it wet. You know when you have it on for too long and it like literally starts to itch? That's how it kind of feels right now. Oh my god, this towel smells like shit. Tips for how to make your laundry smell good because I don't know. I wanna get the scent boosters. <coughs> 
I want to get the scent boosters, but literally they're so expensive. I didn't realize they were that expensive. Okay, so now we're gonna do our like after skincare. I don't really know how you're supposed to use the bio oil, but I've been like trying to incorporate it. Kind of how I've just been doing it is just, you know, putting some on my hand and then rubbing it in. I don't know if you're supposed to do it like after lotion or before lotion. I don't know. I just be taking it and rubbing it in like that. But yeah, that's our little self care day. I was gonna take a bath, but I just don't feel like doing that anymore. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully you guys did a little self care with me while you watch. But I know sometimes life can be hard, or we can be going through different phases of life, and sometimes it just gets a little bit overwhelming. But I promise you, do not let life defeat you. Like just don't let life defeat you you know you were the quote in my description you were literally given this life because you were strong enough to live it and I really do stand by that you wouldn't be here if you couldn't handle it and I know sometimes it really feels like we can't handle it trust me I've been there I've been where I just like wanted to end it all literally I understand the feeling but I promise you you're strong and if anyone hasn't told you I love you and I just want you to keep going and keep pushing and thank you for watching my videos I really appreciate you guys for supporting me and loving me and I just hope that I can even show y'all an ounce of love that y'all show me on a daily basis i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was a little bit therapeutic for you and you just like enjoyed the little talk but yeah i love you guys so much i will see you guys in the next one don't forget to like comment subscribe and comment down below the pink flower emoji if you watched to this point but anyways with all that being said i will see you guys in the next one bye